Hello winners, welcome to another weekly forecast for gold, euro USD, pound USD, USD CAD, British pound, Japanese yen, and US oil. Today we're going to go through entries, targets, uh, where's the price, where do you think will it will go for this week? Doesn't that sound amazing? Thumbs up? Awesome. By the end of this video and the link below, there is a giveaway for my comprehensive mentorship course. So if you want to win the mentorship course for me that is worth $350, there's a giveaway right now in the link in the description, just at the top, filling in details and you're in. It will be valid and will be going for one week. So join in. Uh, trading Forex is risky, not appropriate for everyone. Past performance is not indicative of future results. Whatever has happened in the past doesn't need to happen in the future. And whatever money you can, what, whatever money you invest in the forex market, can be lost any given time. Okay. Also, uh, this is gold. We have gold for this week. I believe this is a good sell price. This is a good place to sell. It's also a good place to, yeah. And in this webinar, whatever is being talked about here is only for, is not for investment purposes, only for education. Okay, good. So this seems to be a good price, new low of the pivot for the month, but I believe we're going lower next month. So, and target at least one to down to 115.36. If it goes higher, and if it goes high as 15.85, it's no longer valid. So I believe this is maybe the best price for now. Look for reversal or up here, look for reversal. If it goes higher, it doesn't matter to me. This is okay, this is okay. But if it goes higher, I don't, yeah, I don't consider that to be what I want to do, what, what I want to trade. So yeah, good. Four. And yeah, and then stop loss should be that was entry. Then we should have stop loss. Yeah, around a thousand or hundred or whatever that is. <laughs> I should learn that now. Uh, ounces, hundred ounces, and yeah, good to go. Euro USD, Euro USD. We all saw that one. Good. So Euro USD is a different case than gold, I would say, but. Uh, we had a nice run last week from here to here, which should have given you 150 pips. Congratulations to the sellers. You hit your target. Boom. And you're just moments away from hitting your week monthly target around 19 pips. You should now start considering if you see a reversal pattern to get out. We have now hit two monthly targets in a row, or we're going, we are about to hit two monthly targets in a row. So, okay. We, but this is now strong, this is now strong resistance. So, support, I mean. So, you're going more and more into unknown waters and more and more risk as long as you hold it. I'm a bull. So we bought it uh, last week here. No, uh, not uh, around one ten twenty four here and here ten twenty four no forty two. I mean ten forty two came back down and I exited here again. That was my week. So fifty pips in profit or something yeah. combined with all my orders. So for sellers, this is going well. We're very early. If it hits now, I believe it will be a reversal and we will be going up here by the end of the month. So that's my plan for Euro USD. 50 pips stop loss. Right now you cannot sell it. So if you want to sell it, you should wait for something like this. That's your entry at 109.96. 50 pips stop loss. Good to go target for this week if you want this week but also you want to be done by 1926 no 
109.26, but 108.60, no, I don't, yeah, no. And is 109.26, and whatever happens after that doesn't matter to us. Pound, pound has already hit monthly target for the sellers. Uh, it was a good one last week, congratulations. So if you were a seller, you should have got 280 pips. Congratulations. Boom. So for this week, what do I want to do for this week? For this week, you say this is your sell zone. And if it goes higher, then fine. But you should have now taken your profit. The run is over. And you should... As a buyer, you should look for a reversal. You have to wait for a reversal. We'll go through that through the week in the Telegram group, I guess, if it reverses. But right now it's falling, so we shall see. And you should have entered here or here. There's nothing else in between. If you have done not done one of those entries, you should start uh, upping up your game of how to enter a market. Okay, 50 pips stop loss. If you're a seller, buyers has to wait for this week a bit. At least I will see it Monday and Tuesday. And then target is 130.187. Sellers should be done or latest 28.32. I don't think it will go down there. Uh, we did gold, did we do gold? We did gold, we did euro, we did pound. So we can do USD CAD. We're going fast today. Whoa. Oh lord. Um if you're here now, there's a giveaway this week, both here on YouTube and on my Facebook page. If you go to the link below, sign up to become to win one mentorship for one access to my mentorship course with technical analysis. And I will do everything and anything I can do to help you become a uh, for successful forex trader, And there is mostly one hour every day that you can call me and we can talk and we can help you improve. USD CAD, we are up. This is getting extended, but we're still up. So since we're still up, we're going up. Um, I have seen in some Facebook groups that they are selling it. I don't, I don't understand, I don't see the sell. Uh, the cell has to be below here, then, when that has happened, then you can start thinking of selling it. But this is about the monthly, this is taking profit this week, this is taking profit last week, this is taking profit the week before that. So three weeks in a row of profits. USD, uh, the cat is weak, so that's kind of the thing. USD is strong, that's the thing. So this one just goes straight up. Okay, so for this week, we would expect price to go higher to 133.55. If it doesn't reverse and makes a new low, then we can at least expect 132.20. But I would say maybe even lower than that. Okay, monthly target is still 133.90. If it hits early, like next week now, wait for reversal and you may take it down again. Okay, awesome. 50 pips stop loss as always, minimally. Do not risk more than 1% per trade. Okay, awesome. Uh, this is uh, sideways, buy sell kind of a situation even though we have pivot points in between we have price doing this oops daisy we have price doing this this and i don't know if that's what's supposed to happen but this is just i'm not interested well it can break below this week but there seems to be very strong resistance here support i mean and if it breaks below then yeah but It's kind of a no man's land. I want to sell it, but I want to sell it up here. Uh, am I too greedy? Maybe. At 144, but that was my plan. And it didn't come up straight up there. So, yeah, I don't know. It's based on my drawings right now. As you can see right now, it's. I don't know. I don't know. We can wait. 
you know, sometimes I just want to tell you that we should just wait. Okay? The setup is not clear. It is not trending. We shouldn't be in a trend. We, we shouldn't buy or sell in a trend. No, in a, in a seller's market. Sorry. We should not buy and sell in a seller's market. So we should wait for it to trend again. Okay? So this is has an X now. For now. US oil. VTI. West Texas something index indigo. Um intermean. For last week we came down to we are and we were around the buy price for the month. This can still head up. But when it goes above here and retraces back down again, mm, that doesn't make me happy at all. I would love this to turn around like a beautiful angel, does what it does all the time. No, it does what it's supposed to do every single time. So right now it is more bearish than bullish. So I would say maybe 14, no, 48, 48 is the target. And but I would rather price to be here, but I believe we're still just in a uh, pure trend trading. That means sell, 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 sell. Okay, so you sell uh, the pullbacks. There is no pullback here. There is no pullback here. There's a pullback here. That's where you can sell. And then you see if it goes below this line here and you sell it again. So I don't think the pivot points are in play. I don't think the monthly are in play. I just believe that we're just going trending, trending, trending until it breaks for the next week, breaks above 52. Then we're good to go again up. But for now, we're thumbling down. Okay. So if you learned anything here, and 50 pips stop loss at least. If you learned anything, if you got any targets, or buyers for 52.80. If you got any targets, any entries, anything that you think, hmm, I didn't know this and I really value this, comment below. Okay? Comment below. That would be the best gratification that I can get. Okay? And the giveaway in this video is not endorsed by either Facebook or, or YouTube or anything. It is not sponsored by them. This is totally, purely me. And you have to be above 18 and you need a computer and you need um, solid internet to be able to utilize the reward as much as possible. Okay, until next time, be safe, don't risk money you cannot afford to lose.